full time here Cambridge City 1 Corby Town 1 it was a battle in the last 10 minutes as both teams looked for a victory but it's spoiled shared Still, and we're ahead at the break thanks to that Connor Tomlinson six minute goal, but it was City winning possession. The second half started at pace, City still believing. Edge replaced injured O'Brien on 57 minutes. On 61 minutes, it was level. City heading home from close range. Mikey Davis beating the defence to the ball. Corby's won a penalty, but Danny Glover's shot was saved twice, and as was his rebound. Uh, no luck for the still men here. Uh, great work from Hilliard, but the double touch by Tomlinson and saw City defend the ball in the best chance of the second half. Corby and Setcher's frustration increases. Corby took the game, or rather City took the game to Corby, and it's a point each at the end of 90 minutes. Full time here, Cambridge City 1, Corby Town 1. Gary, um, one old draw, first draw of the season, of course, away from home, but uh, last game of the season, or last game of the, of the year, but... Uh, I guess it's not what you wanted. No, um, that was a bit of a. Obviously, that was difficult in the win for both teams. Um, uh, but at one-one, with 20 minutes to go, with the ball on the spot, you know you're expecting to go two-one in front. And I think the rebound's probably even an easier chance than the penalty. And listen, Danny Gordon scored from here, there, and everywhere, all over this, all over the pitch. So we're not going to come out here. I'm not going to come out here and chastise the lad for missing a penalty. Um, because he saved us a lot of times um, this this season and last season. So, and then obviously the Connor one after that, um, where Toby's done unbelievable. He's cut it back. And I think, as I just said to me now, I think that's the only time Connor's not dropped the shoulder this year and sent someone for a, for a cheese and onion. Um, but listen, we've then, although we tried to win it, we've then done our best to probably lose it. Um, I think Dan Wallace was probably our best player on the night, um, with the in the wind and the crosses he took, and you know how he marshaled the defence and the two or three one on ones that he saved. So, in all the draws, are probably a fair result. If I was them, I'd have wanted that penalty at the end. Um, I think that's a, I, I thought that was a penalty, um, but the ref did say he was looking for it, so he, he was close enough. But like I say, I've been I've been whinging about refs. I think maybe we got a, got one tonight. Um, but listen, in in what was a probably low in quality game, there was plenty of excitement. Both teams were trying to win the game, and like I just said to the boys, in there drawing away to Cambridge City on a Wednesday night, in in, in a problem result. That's a problem result because of our poor poor home form this season. And of course, we're back at home on Bank Holiday Monday. You've got to reiterate, it's twelve o'clock kickoff. Yeah, not one yet. Yeah, so um, yeah, it, it's going to be. Is it a confidence thing at home now, or do you think no? Let's put it behind us. That that's was last a, that's year. A, that's a, that's a, that. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's a mental thing because everyone talk about it, and our performances even tonight are, is better than what we've produced at home a lot of the time. And no, we had a really good performance against Harbour when we lost, and I thought we played really well against Loughborough when we lost. So we obviously, didn't playing that well. And but away we just seem to play with a little bit more freedom for whatever reason. I don't know that I don't do any different, my demeanour don't change. Um but obviously when it got three games, four games, five games, nine games, ten games, that's that's a huge issue and that's, I'll be honest with you, that's embarrassing. That's, that's that's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed as you know to be part of that. Um but we listen, we we're, we're, we're trying. Whether we're good enough or not, we're trying. Whether we're um we know we're not where we want to be. Um, we know that. We know it's been disappointing so far this season. But we've we've got to show a bit of character. You know, I, I talk about um, lads showing character. Um, I sh I'm showing. I'm trying to show character. I, I try and come out here and be honest with you guys all the time, so the supporters get an insight into what I'm thinking, which some like, some don't like, some criticise, some pat me on the back for it. So. Listen, I can only, I'm one of them, I sort of wear my heart on my sleeve. Like I said in Saturday's interview, that's, that's where I feel we're at as a football club. Um, you know, I had a meeting with um, the owners after Saturday and obviously there's, you know, there might be another another little budget cut on the way, which ain't going to help. I'm trying, I'm speaking to him again tomorrow, we've already had one this season. Hence, people don't see, but I had to let Chris Otty go. 
I had to let Thomas go on Thursday to get me within budget. Obviously, then the goalkeeper gets sent off, and I've got to now find a goalkeeper for Monday because Dan Wallace is suspended. So this this is whether I've been lucky and been at football clubs where that's just plain sailing. But this is this is a difficult job. And what I will say is the the support network's quite good. Obviously, I don't speak to the owners so much because obviously one one lives away and. James is always here, there and everywhere, but Stevie and people like that have been brilliant and hopefully we can continue working forward, but obviously, like I say, I've got to speak to um, the owner tomorrow and, and see how far he wants to, because obviously, if you cut it so far, and then obviously you have to lose another two or three players and you have to lose one or two of your staff, I want to try and build something, but obviously, at the minute, the owners probably threw other things off the pitch, not on the pitch. This thing's happened off the pitch, mm. where he's got to put more and more money in, and that's something that he's not, he don't want to do. Well, you know, no one would want to do. So, you know, we're just uh, we're just in a quandary now. That's that's a little bit not game to game, but that's a little bit. You know, we need to come up with a a plan moving forward for the football club where that's sustainable but we can also sustainable off the pitch and be competitive on the grass because at the minute that's not it, it sounds like more money needs to come through marketing and maybe yeah. a sponsorship of players and such like that yeah which will build the budget up yeah because uh, it's still going to be i would guess six and a half hundred seven hundred there monday yeah lunchtime um and obviously yes your comments in in the meet in the interview they had saturday night after the game yeah, it's generally been positive. People do appreciate your honesty, yeah. so I, I don't think you're going to get knocked for that. But I think the fans are aware now and uh, see maybe things slightly bit differently. But um, the, thing, the thing is, though, I'd, I'd, I'd be honest. I'd, <laughs> listen, these fans pay the money. They pay the they pay the money. They come and watch watch the team. They see exactly the same I see. There's no there's no point if we've turned in an absolute diabolical lacklustre performance, me coming out here and going, yeah, that's what Ten Hag do. I don't do that. He does that. <laughs> he he played against Bayern Munich and said he thought they was the better team. I watched that game the same as most people did. So I I, I try and be honest and, I, and I'm honest in the fact that, you know, twenty five points from twenty games or twenty whatever we got, that, that ain't that ain't been good enough and that's below the standards that I set. I know that. I want to try and do everything to put it right, but like I say, I'll speak to him tomorrow, and hopefully, you know, we can come to a conclusion where he, they're happy, I'm happy, and we can keep trying to move forward on the pitch. Gary, we'll see you on New Year's Day, midday kickoff. Yeah, early hopefully one. it'll be a good, great start to the year. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, top man. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Thank you.